Hey folks, in this episode, we're headed towards St. Louis. But first, we stop off at Lincoln Boyhood National Memorial in Lincoln City, Indiana. Come along. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. Initially, we'd planned to visit the Arch as part of a bigger trip that included Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Georgia. But we were able to travel to Key West later in the summer instead, so this trip had to be shorter. Okay, this is Interstate 64 in southern Indiana, and there's not really much to look around at here. We've been in and out of the Hoosier National Forest as we've been driving across here from Louisville to Benton, Illinois. We are currently in central time zone but it's we're pretty out here there's not a lot of towns there's not a lot of houses there's a lot of forest katie i just saw a sign for santa claus indiana should we go yeah ho 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 the santa claus christmas store and dave's gun shop Instead of Santa, we decided to visit the boyhood home of America's other favorite bearded hero, Abe Lincoln. Well, he probably didn't have a beard when he lived here. The NPS has 12 sites that honor Lincoln in one way or another. This one in Indiana is where he grew from youth to manhood. Okay, we're here. Is that it? Maybe. Hmm. What's that say? RV Park. If I were you, I would back in. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Can we refill our snacks? Yes. We're gonna look around and see what's here, get our passport stamped, etc. All right, we're doing an unscheduled stop at the Lincoln Boyhood Home National Memorial. And the preserved site of one of Lincoln's cabins. The memorial building was completed in 1943. It's really not a huge building. There are two larger rooms on either end and a long curving hallway with display rooms extending off of it. And of course, a gift shop. There's muted lighting in the museum portion, and the displays tell the story of life in frontier Indiana. Lincoln lived here between 1816 and 1830. As we were driving across southern Indiana and Illinois, we noted how empty it is out here. Very rural. Imagine what it would have been like 200 years ago. What's in here? A really cool hall. Can I have the camper keys? I'm gonna go put this stuff away. Okay. I don't want to hide And a post office. Yes, there is a post office here. Hmm. 
Lincoln's mother is buried here in what they call the Pioneer Cemetery. We'll see her grave later. All right, we had about a mile hike here. We ditched Santa Claus. We decided to stop here at this national park site because why not? And there's a loop here with different historical displays of Lincoln's early life in Indiana, including Nancy Lincoln's grave. I think that was his mother or his stepmother, maybe? That was his mother. So, more information probably down below or you know, how it goes. Okay, I suppose that little dialogue wasn't super respectful for a cemetery, but in my defense, we were another two plus hours from camp and it was already late afternoon. This is Lincoln's mother. Well, only 35. Nancy Lincoln died of milk sickness when she was 34. Milk sickness happens when livestock grazes on snake root, and then humans either drink the milk or eat the meat of the livestock. It was a common problem for migrants along the Ohio River in the early 1800s. There are two miles of trails here, and this one leads to a replica of Thomas Lincoln's cabin. We parked at the main memorial building, but there's another parking area that's closer to the replica farm. The NPS still plants crops on the farm, and of course there are interpretive rangers to help explain life here. All right, so this is not a cabin that's original. Looks like that's a vault toilet. There's a little pavilion area. Cabins were built, crops were planted. It's important to remember that this was the wild frontier when the Lincolns lived here. It might as well have been Mars. Here at the Thomas Lincoln Farm at the Lincoln Boyhood National Memorial. It looks as if they have tried to plant something here. I wonder what it is. If you know what they plant here, tell us in the comments. In 1917, the state of Indiana erected a marker at the location of the original Thomas Lincoln cabin. The CCC found the hearthstones soon after. No, I think that's the foundation inside this one. This is yes. probably where it was, but inside, that's all a replica of. Yeah, I thought so. That's not real. I mean, it's real, but that's not really the, the real cabin thing but they discovered the real place here. Lincoln's family were pioneers at using non-gasoline vehicles. The buildings here are a replica of an early 1800s homestead. It's quite a vegetable garden. It's a beautiful garden. Well, yeah. How would you think we could just make this place? What do you think that little building was? Outhouse. You think? No. Chicken coop. Maybe. But there's a little garden. Wait, in the back. vegetable shack. Can really get right in here. It's called a 
So there are a number of stones that have been put here, markers, memorials from different organizations for Abraham Lincoln. That was from his boyhood home, that last one. And this one here is from Spencer County. The Trail of 12 Stones is a half mile hike that starts at the cabin and ends at the Pioneer Cemetery. It has memorial stones from various important times of Lincoln's life including a stone from near where he delivered the Gettysburg Address. Here's another one. This looks like bricks. There are balloons, but no air. Yep. On the night of April 14, 1865, President Lincoln was shot while attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Shortly afterwards, the mortally wounded president was taken across the street to the Peterson House, where he died at 7.22 a.m. the next morning. This piece of sandstone is part of the original column, which helped to support the front porch of the Peterson House, the house where Lincoln died. We pretty much closed the park down, but not before the boys got their Junior Ranger badges. We're gonna be in Illinois soon. This is the Wabash River. It's a big river, how wide it is. There's a cannonball named after it. There we go. It's quite a beach there. Welcome to Illinois. Welcome to Illinois. I did get the picture. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we go to Gateway Arch National Park, take a boat trip, and even see the world's largest ketchup bottle. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, and comment below.